Let's continue. You stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. You look so old. I have woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. This happened. And then he awoke. And that's how this whole story began. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Whoa! How the hell did he find us? I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes yep. them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. Damn it. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. <laughs> oh. Wait, we're in jail now? Oh, ow. Ow, this is not good. That about sums it up. Use the garbage can. Well, the toilet. Oh, I am never drinking again. Yeah, right. Uh, I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Like They're not she gonna... Interview I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. <clears throat> you hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, right, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> 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 Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Ha. Whoa! Get... 
Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know you. Oh, my God. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. That idiot should have freaking paid attention. Read it, but yet he didn't read it. Here are time. your things. Wait, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Hopefully, Barry's okay. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! I'm oh, going to fetch our ride, damn it. but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. <clears throat> Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, the radio guy is on the list, mate. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can no, you, you do idiot. this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I can order one out? No manuscript page. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Idiots. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Okay, so I gotta find a way. So I go this way. Damn it, go over it. There you go. Ow. Oh, that hit me. I was like, what the hell just hit me? <laughs> Screw it, that's not hurting me. It's not hurting any- Oh wait, go back down, there's flares on the building. What else is up here? Gotta keep climbing. 